With the release of the M2 Mac Pro, Apple has finally completed the transition from Intel to Apple Silicon across their lineup. It's taken them a few years to complete the shift, and in that time, most software companies have had the opportunity to update their software to natively support Apple Silicon. However, those that haven't are instead still relying on Apple's Rosetta 2 emulation software to run their Intel-based apps on your Mac. Now, this is not the end of the world, but it's also not ideal because Intel apps might not run as smoothly or as fast as those that have been optimized for Apple Silicon. To check which of your apps are still Intel based, you'll need to open system information. You can get there by clicking on the Apple icon and holding down the Alt key or by opening the Utilities folder under Applications. Having opened system information under Software, click on Applications. The last column labeled Kind will show you which of your apps, if any, are Intel based. Apps that do natively support Apple Silicon will be listed as universal. And you may also see a couple that are actually designed to run on your iPhone and iPad, which you probably downloaded from the App Store. If you do find any that are Intel based, it might just be that the app doesn't get automatically updated. So it's worth checking the vendor's website to see if there's a more recent version of the software available to download. One last thing to also note is that you'll see a lot of apps in this list that you won't recognize. This is not something to necessarily worry about. The majority of these apps will have been installed as part of macOS to do all the little jobs that happen in the background, like syncing your files with iCloud and checking for new mail and messages. So that is how to check for Intel-based apps running on your Mac. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices. And you might also be interested in learning the correct way to uninstall apps on your Mac and how to password protect individual folders. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.